Families from Newtown and the country gathering in Washington, D.C. to honor the victims of the Sandy Hook shootings and all victims of gun violence. It is such a sensitive topic, and it's one that has forever changed Connecticut and all of us. On all of our hearts and minds are the 26 beautiful Sandy Hook Angels. But how much of the one-year anniversary of their loss should be shared with our children? Dr. Laura Saunders is from Hartford Hospital. She's a psychologist who deals with children, and you've helped us deal with this uh, in what's been a very, very tough year. And tomorrow's going to be tough as well. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, you know, I, I think a lot of parents are wondering, uh, what do I do about tomorrow? Tomorrow's coming, no matter what. Um, you know, maybe my kids have asked, maybe they have it. If the kids have not asked, do we let it go? Or do we need to bring it up? The general guideline is, if the children are not asking, don't give them the information. The way you know children are emotionally ready is they will ask you questions. That's their sign. They need to know something. And if they ask a question, the best guideline is, answer their question. Don't give them additional information. Simply answer their question. But if they're not asking, it's a sign that it's not in their mind and they don't really need to know right now. Good advice that we've gotten in the past is when the children ask, you know, make sure they know how unusual it is for something like this to happen. Um, I mean, it almost never happens. Sure, we do hear about them, but there's so many more schools, and if you look at the percentages, it's very unlikely. Yes. So I've used that with, for example, my children, some of my friends have as well, and then my little guy said, but mom, it still could happen. What do you say to that? Well, that's a sign of anxiety as minor as it is. So you try to provide reassurance. The reassurance is sometimes bad things happen. But just like at home, we have smoke dete detector should something go wrong. And we talk about what we would do at home should we have it, uh, an event or a fire. At school, you practice safety drills and you practice fire drills. Your teachers and your administrators are very prepared to help you and keep you safe. They want to hear that they are safe. Absolutely. At the end of the day, that's what they're listening for, right? They, you, they want their anxiety to be lowered so they're looking for reassurance you're giving validation and reassurance let's talk about grief because grief is something that um, with this tragedy certainly we all feel it for these families and 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 for the loss here but grief is something that is heightened um, and loss is heightened this time of year for a lot of people what is the best thing to do here I think we want to do the right thing and sometimes we think I don't want to bring it up because I don't want to make them sad I don't want to acknowledge it uh, you know maybe the the members of the Sandy Hook community because I don't want to you know put salt on that wound that's so raw but sometimes that's actually the worst thing to do is to not say anything isn't it it's a balance between pretending something didn't happen pretending someone didn't have a loss no matter what the loss is there is losses especially poignant around the holidays it's that balance between not asking anything pretending it didn't happen and being overly intrusive sometimes a simple question like how are you doing are you uh, are you worried about anything or, or recall recalling a specific incident something that's happened especially around this this new town tragedy it gives someone an entree to say thank you for asking I'm doing okay or s sharing more detailed information but it's that it's that entree you have to step into it give people permission should they choose to not say anything that's their choice tomorrow's gonna be tough no matter what but Dr. Saunders you've given us a lot of helpful things to think about thank you so much thank you all right